Hello everyone, it's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. Yeah, it's lunchtime here. I'm usually up and about really early getting readings done. So it's a little bit different. I have a bit more energy than what I did when I first woke up this morning. So hopefully um, I make it through the day without having a snap. A snap? A snooze and a nap. <laughs> Did you? I always make up words like that. Certainly not intentional. Obviously some sort of skill that I'm not really considered before. But yes, a snooze and a nap. A snap. Alrighty. We're going to use the golden tarot for your reading. see what the bonus world is showing us today oh obviously I'm pretty sure it's upside down yep all right <laughs> we won't start off with the five of swords upside down the five of swords is a card that talks about conflict the fives all talk about conflict just in different sort of ways the five of swords is a card which shows somebody winning some sort of battle but having nobody to celebrate that battle with because the people that this person has taken or won all the swords from is no longer playing with them which is sort of something you realize when you're young we used to play conquers at school if you were really good at conquers you killed everybody else's conquer but the thing was then you didn't have anybody to play conquers with so it was sort of like that sort of energy is it worth always winning at the cost of losing other things and that's what this card talks about it talks about being selfish being self-centered taking all the cords all the swords for oneself instead of being able to share them but there is always this energy here of some sort of disappointment in that um, and that is what the five of swords is all about you know, winning at all costs walking away from things with everything you need but is it really what you wanted that sort of energy Okay, so we've got the Page of Swords here. So you could have had some sort of communication here with somebody. Um, you may have been speaking to somebody or communicating with someone over the internet or over the airways, texting. There is some sort of energy here that you've walked away or you've finished something or closed something down that perhaps you didn't want to close down but felt it was good for you to cut off. So you could have cut off communication with somebody. Could be somebody younger than you, uh, could be a family member, but it's definitely somebody who was perhaps acting very immaturely. And you've closed it down, you've cut it off, and you feel here that you have done the right thing. I see the dog in this and I think there was a loyalty here. So I'm wondering where the loyalty was. Maybe you were very loyal to someone who wasn't reciprocating. Maybe you weren't, were, you know, willing to share your swords. Um, maybe you were willing to share the swords with others. Maybe you wanted to share the swords, but maybe, and you may have been a loyal person here who wanted to share with someone, but maybe somehow or another they weren't feeling the same way because whoever this person is they may have been the one who walked off with the swords and left you with no, with no swords because somebody's been cut off here and i feel like this cut off has come either through communication via text or email all right and we have the seven of swords okay so we have one or two people in this situation who've been very very stubborn one would say you might have been reflecting each other's energy here but you've both fought hard and fast for some sort of resolving of something some sort of tension both of you have fought for something but somehow or another it's just i want to say it's gone awry It's very chariot energy now. Okay, so we have the nine of coins here. You could have fought with someone that you were in some sort of situation with. This could have even been a parent figure. But what we've got now is you standing in your own element. So somehow or another, 
dissolving this, walking away from this, taking yourself out of this situation has made you feel whole and complete, taking your power back. Wow, okay, this is Five of Swords energy again. It's like I've got my power back, but I've got a broken heart. I've stood, I've won this. I've won what I wanted to. I've kept my pride intact. I've been true to who I was. I've been loyal to myself. But in order to do that, I've had to risk heartbreak or heartache here. really interesting very five of swords energy something is changing though there's some sort of communication coming in here from somebody who has regrets about this maybe regrets about the past with the six of cups here someone is weighing up some sort of decision to to go after their own happiness whoever this was that you've come to loggerheads with i want to say somebody that you've walked away from keeping your pride intact but maybe hurting from that whole situation whoever the person was you're dealing with has seen has seen now with that sun some sort of energy here that they want to come back towards so something something here has torn you apart from someone who realized that they were or you were their happiness all right, so we have the full card coming through. So there's a leap of faith required. The full card is a card that talks about taking a leap of faith. But I always think there's a bit of a caution in the fact it is the fool. Because there is that energy of don't be foolish. So I feel like here there's a bit of an energy of, you know, are you a fool for giving something another go, going back, forgiving someone? Are you a fool for giving something another chance? Or is the fool someone who won't take a risk? So there seems to be a, a different energy in this card. All right, so we have the High Priestess coming through. Major Arcanas, Four of Cups, Four of Coins, Yvonne Round Things, not not cups <laughs> we have the queen of wands some of you dealing with pisces um fire signs mainly here somebody you have been dealing with here that perhaps you walked away from is going to take some sort of leap of faith after letting go of this. So maybe they'd hung on to some sort of anger or upset or annoyance through this whole situation. But whoever this person is now is letting go of the past here. They are releasing something. Someone's had a bit of a dip into their intuition here. They've sort of gone deep into this energy and perhaps realised that what they fought against was the very thing they wanted. Somebody who is now seeing you as this Queen of Wands. So they're seeing you as you truthfully stand. I wonder what it was in this energy here that you weren't seeing a person for their true value. It's like you were focused more on the fight, more on the winning, more on the being stubborn about something. There's an ego energy right there. Not trusting your intuition, but following your ego. All right, let's get into this. All right, so we have here the page of coins with the hermit, major arcanas, and the five of wands coming through. It looks like whoever you've been dealing with, or even if this is you, that there has been a questioning this for some time. There has been a questioning of what happened. How did that happen? How did we get there? There is very much this energy of staying focused really on what happened rather than really seeing the end result and pulling that apart. And this person's been thrown into this energy of seeing the big picture now rather than focusing on the detail. Um, 
there's been a lot of healing here, a lot of realization, but a lot of conflict, mental conflict, a lot of thinking and releasing. There's an offer being made to get back. Look, here we are, <laughs> judgment. <laughs> an offer of a second chance. Somebody is letting their guard down here with this Eight of Swords. Quite possibly somebody who's coming up as an emperor. If you're in a twin flame situation, it could be the person you're dealing with. The emperor also represents Aries, but I have strong fire in here anyway. Um, I feel like this person's sort of, and maybe you have too, there's this sort of essence of growth here. Because there seems to be a very immature energy and then there seems to be a very mature emotional energy. So it's like someone has stepped into this new power here with the emperor. And this could be both of you. It's something that makes me feel that in the past there was very immature action from two people. Perhaps two people who were sort of stimulated or triggered by some sort of some sort of energy here so it sort of feels like there was some sort of maybe a fight an argument some sort of situation here where people were really looking out for themselves and not really thinking about anything else there was a a need to win a need to be stubborn a need to win something here i feel like somebody ended up walking away cutting someone off perhaps both of you did because this is the energy of stubbornness, fighting for something, but not really understanding what you're fighting for. Both of you appear to be either stepping into some sort of power here with the nine of coins, but you've been carrying around some hurt and pain with this. So it's like you've walked away from something, keeping your soul and yourself intact. But in the process, you've broken hearts and you may have broken each other's heart here. There is communication perhaps starting up again after a period of sadness. This is definitely some sort of past event. You may have a very strong connection to this person. The two of coins is here. Somebody's trying to strike a balance now. So there's regrets about the past here. Strong regrets with that five of cups. Somebody's looking back and realizing there's also goes to the six. So we go from the five to the six here which means there is an Ace of Cups going to be offered here. So for some of you, this is about love. For others of you, it could be about romantic love. Um, but something's about to be resolved that's going to change things up for you. And you are being required to take some sort of leap of faith with this. So you're going to have to trust, even if you still feel that you're stuck a little bit in that energy of your ego wanting to win at all costs. Because here there's a rebirth and it's something that's really good that's going to result in a lot of happiness. But for both sides here, there seems to be this energy of being tied into something. Still hanging on to the pain, perhaps, of it all. All will be revealed. I just saw the moon there. There is some sort of offer coming that's a wish come true here. This is quite interesting because I have some cards or have an A card in reverse here. Somebody wants to offer their cup, but it's in reverse. So there's like a fear that it won't be accepted. Somebody is coming in now after attaining this Emperor status, Four of Wands. Wow. Somebody wants to offer something very stable, long-term. All right, let's pull an oracle card. Hey, that's what we want, the River Queen. Oh, natural. Natural movement, 36. This is flow, letting go and natural movement. 
The River Queen flows into your life as an ally to remind you about the concept of allowing and the law of non-attachment. Remember that all rivers come from the mountains and run to the sea to be absorbed by the larger body of water. There the liquid evaporates into clouds that rain on the mountains to continue an endless cycle of fluidity. The River Queen requires you to be fluid and to let go of rigidity and perfectionism. You will travel as far as long as you let go and let flow, even manoeuvring around the greatest blockages like water streams around big boulders. No obstacle can hold you back now if you're willing to surrender to the natural flow of events. Be easy on yourself and others and watch how smoothly you move forward. You may be surprised where the river takes you. There you go with the flow, taking a leap of faith. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.